Let's show a transfer of heat from the surroundings to the system. At zero degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere, ice melts to form liquid water. To melt a solid, attractive forces around the particles must be overcome. As heat is absorbed by the solid, particles begin to move about more vigorously and some particles break free from the attractions of neighboring particles. Measurements show that for every mole of ice converted to liquid water at zero degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere, 6.01 kilojoules of energy is absorbed by the system, the ice, from the surroundings. When heat has to be supplied to the system by the surroundings, the process is called an endothermic process. Click on the button below to look at the reverse process, the freezing of water. At zero degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere, liquid water freezes to form ice. As heat is removed from a liquid, the motion of the liquid particles slows down so that stronger attractive forces in the solid can form between the particles. Measurements show that for every mole of liquid water converted to ice at zero degrees Celsius and a pressure of one atmosphere, 6.01 kilojoules of energy must be given off by the system to the surroundings. When heat is transferred from the system to the surroundings, the process is called an exothermic process. Click on the button below to replay this animation.